All right. Um, so obviously the elephant in the room, um, this is the first loss of the season. Um, it kind of seems like River Falls took off with this one. Uh, what went wrong? Well, they, they came out and, you know, that's a team that coming into this weekend had put 41 goals up, you know, in, in seven games, six games. Um, so you're, you're clipping along it, you know, just under, I mean, I think actually before we played on Wednesday night, they're clipping along at eight goals a game. So you, you already know it's a potent offense and you can't give them time and space. And, um, you know, one of the things that they did tonight that, that, you know, they didn't do on Wednesday was capitalize on their opportunities. Um, so, um, you know, they came out and, uh, that, that first period is a tremendous period for them. They, you know, getting those three goals is, is that's just a tough, tough to battle again, back against any opponent. And then, you, you know, that's, that's a team that historically, you know, I think that the way they're built this year too, you're, you're looking at a top four team in the country. And, and so you're not doing yourself any favor for that. Um, you know, but uh, I, I was very happy with how we responded in the second and third period. It was a, you know, it was a very even game at, at, at that point. And, um, you know, one thing I was very excited about with the really young team, they, they never quit, you know, the, the energy on the bus was, or excuse me, on the bench was really, was, was actually really strong. Um, and, and that's a characteristic as a coach, you, you know, this is the first time we have, we had really any kind of adversity all season. You just don't know how your team's going to respond, especially when it's a young group. And, you know, from, from what I saw tonight, it's very encouraging. Uh, it's very exciting to to see that part in, in a, on a night where there's you know you you've got a lot of a lot of things to evaluate. Yeah, and so can you tell me like what makes it so hard to um, like respond to a game when it's like two nothing, three nothing as it keeps going up like that? Well, you know, traditionally speaking, you know, I, I've watched enough. You know, I've watched River Falls teams play over the years now, and and typically what happens is, you know, it's just human nature. A lot of times, um, athletes will, will have that feeling internally, like, okay, what's the point? You know, so if it's if it's four to one or ten to one, I, I just you know just want to get out of this moment versus digging in and trying to claw your way back. And um, you know, one thing is a testament to how good they are. I, I really liked our, our, how we countered. I mean, we were, we were probably one goal away there in the second period, um, you know, making it three, two, and then, and then who knows what happens. And I mean, to be brutally honest, the, when they got that fourth goal, that was obviously a, um, you know, kind of a, that, that, that was a tough moment for us just from that standpoint of, okay, that really, you know, put things out of reach, so to speak with where they scored and the time left. But you know, we had a few scrums around their net that, you know, another inch to the right, and that's in the back of their net. And all of a sudden, it's three to two. Um, you know, the, just the, the way that our team responded, I, I think we were just, we were that close. Um, and so for, for a group that's that young, once again, um, to just continue to, to pursue it and be relentless on pucks and um, do everything they can to, to, you know, one, represent our program and our university, I was, I was very happy with, with what I saw from that standpoint. <laughs> So uh, Wednesday's game went a lot differently. Can mm -hmm. you sort of describe the energy transfer from Wednesday to tonight and how it maybe felt different from what we've seen from the Blue Golds so far this season? Well, I, you know, I, I, I think the energy was there. It, it's just, you know, just like on Wednesday night, they got the first goal. Um, and, you know, the, I think just the difference was, um, you know, on Wednesday night, we were able to settle down a lot faster. Um, tonight we didn't, um, you know, they, they came out, they got, um, you know, their next goal is just kind of a bang, bang off of a, you know, power play if I remember right. And then their, their third goal is just a really fluky, you know, just what happens in our game. It's, it's amazing how puck luck uh, you know, will factor in. It's just the most we weirdest inopportune times possible. And of course that's, that's what happened to us tonight. I, I don't, you know, any, who, know, who the heck knows why, but you know, I, I, I don't know that we will. And I hope we don't see another goal like that against this year where basically the defenseman took a shot towards the net and it bounces off our, our defenseman's breezers and redirects into the goal. Like, you know, that's, that's not really, um, you know, that's, that's not on our goalie. That's for sure. You know, Kyla played great tonight, I thought. And um, it's, it's like, uh, as we're approaching baseball season, they need run support. Uh, we didn't give it. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just one of those things. Once again, we're just on the wrong side of the scoreboard against a very good team. Yeah. Um, what would you say was, um, the importance of tonight's game and, uh, were the stakes high? 
Yeah, it was, it was the difference between having home ice for the entire playoffs or, or not, you know? And so, so now, you know, it was a WIAC championship game. Um, you know, if we won tonight, we were outright champions and now we're co-champions, you know, we're six, one and one, they're six and one. So, um, you know, and, and with the way that the, the seedings work this year, I, I think that the, the, the win percentage will actually go in their favor. So they'll become um, the higher seed for the playoffs, but you know, we knew that tonight we, you know, obviously our goal was to be the outright number one team and, and, you know, we we're raising a banner to, to raise it by ourselves, but you know, they'll, they're added to their collection. If you, if you go over there, they're, they're running out of space for banners, but um, you know, so it, it was, it was a, there's a lot on the line tonight, um, but that was our senior night. And, you know, I know I, it, it, everyone's hurt in that room. And, and I know that, that nobody's hurting more right now than our seniors. It's just, um, you want to go out with a win on, on your last regular season game. So, you know, just kind of you feel for that for, for our two seniors, Morgan Zerbo and Taylor Troy tonight too. Um, so what do you think tonight was just a hiccup? No, I think tonight was two WIAC teams. You have a, like that team, quite frankly, could put 10 on us. I, I mean, it, it, it's, it's not a hiccup whatsoever that, because that is one heck of a good team. Um, so it, it, it's, it's just a testament to what this series has become. Um, it, it's a back and forth, um, you, you know, we'll, believe me, we, we have a lot of stuff to learn from tonight um, that will be, you know, just finished addressing the team here a little bit ago. And I was very happy with their effort and this will make us better. You know, you're talking to, you're talking about 21 underclassmen between our freshmen and sophomores. That's, that's just, that's a very young team. Um, so to be in this position uh, against a veteran team that's, that's returned the heart of their scoring um, you know, it, it's, it's just a testament to what the future looks like for us and, and for our freshmen, you know, like they have that feeling now in that, you know, there's a pit in all of our stomach, not, not, there's not, there's not a high emotion in there right now. You know, they're, they're not happy about this. And until you experience it, you know, it's, it's one of those things that's just sitting on the outside and, and you don't know. And unfortunately, sometimes you, you grow through, go through pain. And I hate to say that because we're hurting right now, but it's, it's for, for me, it's, it's one more opportunity or one more way that I think this makes us stronger because they didn't give up and, and that's all you can ask for. Mm -hmm. So how do you see them performing in the tournament as it starts? With a lot of excitement and a lot of energy and a lot of determination um, based on what I saw tonight. So, um, you know, you, you don't, you don't want to see another team celebrate in your building and uh, they got to witness that firsthand. So, um, it, it's something that none of us want to feel uh, anytime soon. And, and uh, if, if the next opportunity for us to go on the ice and compete and be on the right side of the scoreboard is there, I think we're going to take it. And, um, you know, hopefully the next time we, we, we feel any kind of remorse or, 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 or hurt will be uh, sometime in the fall of 2021 or, or, or maybe even the spring of 2022. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Well, um, I don't have any further questions, but thank you. All right. Thanks, Miles. Mm -hmm.